Hey, how's it going everybody? And welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing a week 7 of the tournament reports that I've been doing on the channel. This week I ended up playing Unchained. I did get top 4, which is really nice. It's been a while. And overall, I do really, really enjoy this deck. It's a really cool, interesting archetype. Being able to destroy your own cards to gain advantage is a really cool concept. Uh, but yeah, I did get a couple prize packs, but I did open them off camera. For the OTS, I just pulled another baby Sarasaurus, and the only noticeable card from the packs was a Faithful Adventure, which uh, was pretty cool. And also, if you're here just for the list, it'll be in the description box down below. And if you want to check out some of the duels, I'll be having them on the channel as well later throughout the week. Uh, but let's go ahead and get right into it. If you do enjoy it, consider subscribing. And if you have any questions or suggestions, go to leave it in the comment section down below. Always nice to see. So, starting off with the three Aruha. This is pretty standard. Um, whenever it's in your hand, you can target one card on the field and destroy it. And then special summon it. You are locked to fiends when you use that effect, so keep that in mind. And all of the smaller Unchained monsters have the same effect where if it's destroyed by battle or by card effect, except by its own card effect, you can special summon an Unchained monster from the hand or deck. Next, three Unchained Rakea. This one is when it's on the field. As a quick effect, you could target one card on the field and destroy it. And then, like I said, it has the same effect as Aruha, where it's, if it's destroyed, it gets a special summon, one from the deck or hand. Then, three Sarama. Now, this is one of the stronger ones, in my opinion. When you summon it, you can target one unchained monster or card in the graveyard and set it. Then you can pop one card right after it resolves. So pretty nice being able to get some of your traps and or spells or monsters back from the graveyard is always nice. And then you get a free pop which can go into more plays. Then two unchained soul. Now this one's pretty cool because if a card is destroyed by battle over a card effect while it's in your hand, you can special summon it. And then when it is summoned, you can discard one card and destroy one card in the field. And that's either player's field, so pretty cool for interruption or a way to extend. Then one disaster, the brick of the deck. Uh, but you always seem to draw it, or at least I did. Um, probably, out of all my matches, I probably drew it. 90% uh, of them. It was always in my hand, which was a bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. Uh, so basically, it gains 300, car or 300 attack for every unchained card in your graveyard. Uh, so you can get them kind of big, depending on how big your graveyard is, of course. And then you could use one of these effects, or you can use each effect once per turn. Uh, so its first effect is you can target one monster your opponent controls and itself, and use them as link materials. And then if it's destroyed by battle or by card effect, you can special summon one unchained monster from the graveyard. Also, I forgot to mention that Soul's effect is when it's destroyed by battle or by card effect, and it's in the graveyard, during the end phase it will come back, but when it leaves the field, it goes to the bottom of the deck. Then, three Ash Blossom and Joy Spring, just because you need some sort of interruption for your opponent. And I've been running a lot of hand traps lately, so I also run two effect veilers and two ghost ogre and snow rabbits. That'll do it for the monsters for the spells. Got three of the abominations prison, a very very strong uh, spell card for the unchained, of course. Uh, when it's activated, you can add one unchained card from your deck. So any monster or any of the traps as well, which is really, really nice. And then if it's destroyed while it's set, a special summons one from the deck. So pretty, pretty strong. Uh, then two or three Twin Twisters. Um, I'm not too sure how I feel about this right now. I might actually end up taking it out in a later build. Uh, but my whole thought process, I guess, for putting it in is not only did I want to answer for back row decks, but... If I can destroy my own spells and traps, I can plus off of it. So that was kind of the whole idea. Then, 
two Pot of Extravagance for draw power. You don't need your extra deck that much in this deck, so having the extra for extra draw is really nice. And then for the last spell, one called by the grave because you want your plays to go off as often as possible. And this could even be some interruption sometimes. <laughs> then for the traps, we got three Escape from the Unchained. This one's pretty cool. Target one Unchained monster you control and one card on the field and destroy them both. And then the traps have the same effect where if it's destroyed while it's set, special summon one Unchained monster from the deck. Then we have three Chamber. This lets you target one of your Unchained Monsters in your Graveyard and Special Summon it. Or just Special Summon one Unchained Monster from your hand or Graveyard so it does not target. Uh, so really nice. And then of course when it's destroyed Special Summon one from the deck. Then three Infinite Permanents for more Interruption. And then the best trap and one of the better cards in the entire deck and that is three Torrential Tribute. Now this card is very strong. Um, being able to gain s a lot of advantage while um, disrupting your opponent is very nice. And just an awesome card for the Unchained deck. And that'll do it for the main. It is 40 cards. For the extra really quickly. Now you can change it up a lot. The only ones that won't chain, uh, change up is the Unchained lineup. But I run one Wee Witch and the three Unchained Soul of Rage. Now this one lets you link off with your opponent's special summon monster during their main phase. So pretty cool. It does target, unfortunately. Uh, so if they have like a, uh, what is it, Dragoons, you're not going to be able to get rid of it with this effect, which is a bit unfortunate, but um, overall a very strong card. And then the Unchained Link monsters have the same effect for when they're destroyed by battle or card effect. Special summon one from the graveyard. One on chain monster. Then one phoenix. Two unicorn. Just because it's a fiend and a dark. Uh, really nice. Works well with the deck. Uh, being able to summon it while being locked to fiends is very helpful. Then of course the three unchained soul of anguish. Uh, this one can link off with your opponent's monsters but only during your turn. So Keep that in mind. Then one Abomination. This is just a lot of destruction. And then to round it off, we got one Boral Sword, one Boral Load, one Topologic Bomber Dragon, and one Topologic Zero Boros to round off the extra deck. So hopefully this did help out a little bit. And uh, until next time, I'll see you guys later.